Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at eight teams that you can run for the new season for the Great League Remix Cup. And those teams should be very, very good. I'm actually really happy with the teams that I built here. I think the meta is very interesting. I don't know why Registeel is actually allowed. I don't know what happened there, but Registeel is allowed in this meta. It's not like a recommend is allowed, which is actually way worse than I expected it to be. But yeah, we're going to take a look at the top eight team, in my opinion, that you can run in this league. And let's get right into the video. Of course, the first team gonna have the Reggie Steel in there as well. We're gonna see some teams with Reggie Steel, but a lot of teams also without Reggie Steel because um, I didn't want to put in every team, even though it's one of the best Pokemon, if not the best Pokemon in this current meta. We have the Reggie Steel in the back, we have the Crystallia in the lead, we have the Vigoroth or the um, Mushkith as a safe stop. You could also use if you are funny and have the Reggie Rock, you can re use the Reggie Rock there as well. But I used those because those two are a little bit easier to achieve for most people and should work out even better than the Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock is more like me, but this is funny and this still works out really well. Like both the Wishcares and uh, the um, Vigoroth are both very good say swords in this meta. I actually wish cares as well because there are not really a lot of grass types that are available that are really good. There is one problem just with the wish cares, which might be the Licky Tanks, which you're gonna see a lot of times as well in the back. So yeah, but this team definitely works out. It's of course annoying and bulky, but uh, this is how Go Battle League is usually. So yeah. The second team is, in my opinion, the best team that you can run, at least on paper and in terms of like, like I don't know, like in general, like how it looks like. We have uh, the uh, Reggie Steel in the lead. We have uh, two fighting types in the back. Fighting types are amazing in this meta. It could be a little bit tough against different fighting types against you I guess but like you of course you can mirror with your own fighters you can also use something like toxic rogue you can actually I think toxic rogue in the back might be even a little bit better but makes you a little bit weaker to wish because you have to see like but on paper this team looks really really good uh you have the Machamp as a sales swap in my opinion you can you can just both um, as a sales swap it really depends on what you want to do Machamp has coverage against like flying types while the um, Surfer chest coverage against ghost types really depends on what you see more. Both of them are fighters as a safe swap, but double fighting in general, fighting types, you're gonna see a lot more teams with fighting types in them. Like they are very, very good. And of course, with Reggie Steel together, like Reggie Steel can counter flying types and the fairy types, which are both not really that common anyway. So, yeah, definitely should work out pretty well. The next team gonna have Pelipper as lead, which is very interesting in this current meta because, like, Pelipper is actually a really decent, for example but also against a record if people want to play it in this meta, which I don't really see that good there, to be honest. But this thing can counter fire types, which gets more and more common right now with the uh, Ninetales and the Alone Manorak, which are also, I think, teams for both of them. Um, like, it's definitely a very, very strong Pokemon, but yeah, you kind of need some coverage. Of course, on the back there, we have the Digger Spear as a say -so. If you're funny, use Hyper Beam. If you're not funny, use Earthquake. Both of them are fine, but... Um, usually, like, you kind of want to get out the Marowak so you don't have to face it with the Reggie Steel. Of course, like, the Pelipper lose against Reggie Steel, you are, um, Reggie Steel is neutral and our say stop is super effective, so you can use something else than Reggie Steel in the back as well. I don't know, something like a fighting type again, which would work okay-ish. But yeah, like, this is definitely a very bulky team again that should work out pretty, pretty well. Also, even against, uh, the, for example, like, the game, you have, like, you have, like, the grass type against the one type in the lead, but you still have the flying type against the uh, Digger Speed, you still have the Fire Punch, so you're still really, really good against this. It's, it's, it's kind of a neutral team that should work out pretty well. The uh, next team going to be around the Alone Marek again. If you have the Shadow version, of course, use the Shadow version here. We have the Rigorous L Size Rob here, which going to be very, very decent in general in this manner. There's not a lot that really wants to come into this. We have the Swilers on the back, which going to be a really, really good as a pairing here with the Alone Marek. If you think about it, Alone Marek going to counter the um, ice type Pokemon, the fighting type Pokemon, and the fairy type Pokemon, all of them you don't really want to face with the uh, Swilers. And of course, the Vigoroth gonna bait on most of them, especially like the fighting type Pokemon and also the fairy type Pokemon want to come into you there if you say swap into it. So. There should be definitely a very, very solid line. I'm definitely gonna try this team out. And yeah, I think this works out like really, really well. This looks like a kind of the anti meta team for this cup that you want to run as well. If you like think about like the uh, weaknesses of the Merrick, like the Lick users, like the normal type Lick users, you have two really good answers for those in the back as well. So this team should work out really well. And I think it's a lot of fun to play because it's like Pokemon that you don't really see that often. 
like the next team also really does a lot make a lot of sense here again we have the toxic rook in the lead which is going to be a very good pokemon in the current meta as we have a lot of normal types steel types and fighting types and all of them lose to toxic rock so toxic rock is going to be one of the pokemon that you really want to take a look at we have the licky tongue again as a say so here licky tongue is going to be in some more teams i think i don't know like licky tongue is definitely a very very strong pokemon uh, so we have the Mandibus or the Wigglytuff in the back here. Wigglytuff is basically the best Charm user and Charm should be a very good um, Pokemon like in general, like a very good typing here as well. You have a lot of fighting type users, you're gonna have a lot of type normal, a lot of normal type users with a lick damage. And this thing is just very neutral. A lot of people are gonna be a little bit scared of using this because of the Reggie steal. But if your team can handle this, which this team should be able to with the Toxic Rock in the lead, you're gonna be able to do some very nice work with the Charmisa in the back there. And I think this stuff indeed does make a lot of sense. And if you don't want to be uh, with, like use a charm user, you can use the Mendibus, and this should work out as well. Here in the next team, we're gonna have the Shadow Nine Tails in the lead. You can also use the normal version, of course, but Shadow version is, in my opinion, a little bit better. You run overheat on this by the way as well like whether ball overheat travel fire move set i use this pokemon as well in my regionals and it was amazing in the current meta and now it's still available in this cup of course because it's more like a spicier pick but yeah well, this thing is a good answer against charm users and also like in general a very good neutral pokemon that also beats at the uh, what's it called? The Reggie Steel. You have the Licky Tongue as a safe swap again. If you don't have Licky Tongue, you can also use Vigoroth in this team as well. And we have the Surfetch in the back again, which is gonna have like Surfetch gonna be one of the best Pokemon in the meta. I'm gonna call it right now. This thing has a coverage to beat nearly everything, so like this thing gonna be everywhere. And uh, definitely a very good team. More like on the squishier side, especially if you run the Vigoroth instead of the Licky Tongue. So. Faster battles. The second to last team here, we're gonna have Beedrill in the lead. You can use the Shadow version, of course. We have the Polytoad as a say so. Polytoad is a very good Pokemon here. He has with Leg Legacy Earthquake, but you can also use it with Blizzard. I think both of them are fine. And then you have the Wish Curse in the back, which is also like such a good Pokemon in the current meta, which is like as a closer here. Of course, we have a double weak backline to grass types. So we have a Pokemon in the lead that can beat grass types pretty easily. Uh, flying types can be a little bit of a problem because of the uh, um, what's called because of the uh, typing of the beetroll, the bug typing, which of course is weak to the flying typing. If you are not as spicy and want to run the beetroll, run the Reggie Steel. Reggie Steel is the better version, but um, Reggie Steel is super lame, so run the beetroll if you are more spicy. It's the beginning of the meta, like the, the beginning of the season anyway, so run whatever you want. And yeah, otherwise this backline is really, really cool with especially Reggie Steel, but he has a beat well in the lead. And the final team, we're gonna have the uh, Unova Stunfisk here as the Galarian is uh, like banned here. Unova Stunfisk looks really, really good right now in the current meta as it beats the Steel types and the uh, Flying types at the same time. Figure of Seisop should get out the Flying types. And also it's good against steel types and we have something in the back which doesn't want to face either steel types or flying types with the atropius you can also use the jump off in the back again um this really reminds me of a line that i used in season one which got me to top 50 on the leaderboards which had the same team basically but with bronzong as a safe swap which was hilarious and that was very spicy back in the day but yeah this team definitely works out really well i'm actually really looking forward to this cup this cup looks like a very very fun cup that should have a lot of potential potential to be like also cool to play so like yeah i hope you enjoy this video have a great rest of your day uh, see you in the next video and bye